Welcome to the prayer closet with Summer White, and we're just going to jump straight into where we left off in Genesis. So we're going to do Genesis chapter 4, and then we're going to go straight into Y2K outfits. So stay tuned for that if you're interested, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So this is about Cain and Abel, and it says, Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. That's some serious anger right there, you know. <laughs> but um, he... Cain didn't do what God asked him to do. He didn't bring the first fruits that he had to God. He basically gave God kind of a little portion and kept the majority of the good stuff for himself. So he didn't honor God with what he brought to him. And Abel did. Um, but instead of doing the right thing, Cain still continued on to do the wrong thing and ended up killing his brother. So let's read on. Let's get the page turned here. Okay, it says, I don't know, he replied, am I my brother's keeper? The Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from you, from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land, and I, was, and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, Not so. Anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain, so that no one who found him would kill him. So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain made love to his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was, the building, Cain was then building a city, and he named it after his son Enoch. You ever wonder like, where the other people came from? So the Bible tells us that God made Adam and Eve, like, and that Eve, or Adam and Eve were like the first man and woman, right? So then it says that Eve bore a son, Cain, and it acts like, kind of talks like he's her first son, but yet when Cain was banished into another land, there were already people there. So, what about them? So, I don't know. I had that question the other day. I was like, what about all those other people? Where'd they come from? So, it's interesting. Um, anyway, let's read on. Uh, where were we? Okay, Cain was then building a city, and he named it after his son Enoch. To, e to Enoch... I think this is printed wrong, but hang on a minute. My contacts are getting blurry because I have done quite a few videos tonight and it is now like 12.30 at night and I've been up all day and I have to work tomorrow, so my contacts are just getting a little blurry, so I'm gonna keep on reading, it's okay. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad was the father of Mehula, and Mehula, or I think that's how you pronounce it, was the father of Matthew, Matthew Shul? And Matthew Shul was the father of Lamech, I'm trying here. Lamech married two women, one named Ada and the other Zilia. Ada gave birth to Jabel. He was the father of those who live in tents and raise livestock. His brother's name was Jubal, and he was the father of all who play stringed instruments and pipes. Zilla also had a son. Tubal, Cain, 
who forged all kinds of tools out of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain's sister was Nama, and Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, listen to me. Wives of Lamech, hear my words. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for injuring me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech seventy-seven times. Adam made love to his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child in place of Abel. Since Cain killed him, Seth also had a son, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. And it stops there. So, interesting. And it is a little hard. It gets a little tricky when it starts saying this person had this person and this person had this person. It starts getting into the names, but it's okay. So, we're going to learn and keep on going. But um, it's very interesting. So, I, I kind of just get interested in, like, where do the other people come from and stuff. So, that was, that was what stuck out to me in this. And also, you know, not giving God your best, you know, so not honoring God with your best, but just kind of giving him the little portion. And that could be with your time, with your money, with pretty much anything. So, um, something to think about, but we'll stop there. We'll get straight into the Y2K outfits while I am still awake and still have my contacts. <laughs> and, um, I'm not sure what the next video will be on. We'll see. So we'll, we'll just go from there. And, um, I've got so many ideas. So I wrote down a whole page full of like different outfit videos I could do. So we'll see what comes next. I haven't figured it out yet. So I've been telling on these what is going to come next, but I haven't figured this one out yet. So we'll just leave it at that. It'll be a surprise to be good. But yeah, go ahead and watch the Y2K videos and um, let me know what you think. And I will see you there on the, on the outfit videos. I'm actually filming the first part of this after the outfit, so I just confused myself, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay. It's all good. So I will see you on the outfits, and let's get to it. Okay, so this is the first Y2K outfit. I'm just coming up with stuff from my closet that I can try and pair up to make Y2K. Um, the spaghetti strap tank top is a definite Y2K. I mean, it is right there little cute tank top i think the brand was self-esteem which is like a junior's brand it's got the little buttons and the rib material it just screams y2k and then of course the little tennis skirt which i have a hard time finding these um really just they're usually shorter than this so this one was really great i was excited about it um some little sandals uh so i'm going to use the sandals that I feel like are the closest match but I really wanted some like little white strappy shoes maybe like she wore it like Cher wore in Clueless they kind of had the little just skinny strap across the ankle skinny strap across the toe and they had a little maybe a little chunky heel on them I wanted or a block heel I wanted something like that and I have been searching and I have not found them yet so hopefully I'll come in contact with those but I felt like that would just been the perfect shoe for these but and I've also just grabbed this little bag um, it's a see-through bag just thought maybe that would be close enough to Y2K because I couldn't find any others in my closet but it's gonna work it's gonna be good and of course the little beaded necklaces that came back so i've got this one at plato's closet the other day and super cute and then i've just got some hoops in and this is the first y2k outfit oh and i don't know if you remember but do you remember the panda rings so i ha they don't have them in jewelry stores anymore but i found one at a pawn shop and he actually just kind of like it was it was broken and he melted it back together with metal for me and sized it for me um, but I don't know you can't really see the panda on it but do you remember those so they were a big deal when I was like in wasn't Y2K it was a big deal when I was in seventh grade because I had one and this girl said can I see that and she stuck it on her finger and ran out the door and I never got it back so finally got another one I don't let people see my jewelry anymore off my finger but <laughs> there it is and a little story with that but um yeah so this is it for the first outfit let's go to outfit number two on this one outfit number two i have taken the main part of it is this baby doll top so the 
it's sheer material. I've just put tank top under it. It's flowery. It's got the the little um, tie that ties up in the back. It just screams Y2K. I also kept the little beaded necklace, uh, choker necklace. I did switch the earrings for some hearts. And then I've got this little, let me see if I can get it turned here right. I've got this little bracelet that my daughter got me. It's got um, just like a heart and a planet on it. It's got the little black cord tie. And um, these jeans, so these are old faded glory jeans as well. Black jeans with the pockets. Um, I think you see them. They've got little pockets there, pockets in the back, and just kind of a nice boot cut jean. And then I paired it with little black sandals. Um, yeah, so this is outfit number two. And let's get on to the third one. Okay, on this one, it's just a cute little Y2K dress. It's that sheer material with a little lining under it. It's got the ruffles on the collar or the, the neckline, the ruffles on the sleeves. And then I've taken took me a while to get all these on y'all had to do one at a time individually but I've taken all these little cute wire bracelets with the little flowers and beads and put on and then I've just stuck these little stud earrings on with the little diamonds kind of look like flowers and some little white tennis shoes so we used to have kids these aren't kids but we had kids and I feel like we wore kids with a lot of things like this um, so they were kind of a big deal then. So yeah, so this is the next Y2K outfit. I absolutely love this dress. I feel like this dress is definitely Y2K. I mean, everything about it. So very cool. And I would probably just wear it with the sneakers if I was going to wear it out. That would be how I would pair it. So I'm loving this one. And let's get to the next one. For this outfit, I've taken the same black jeans and the little black sandals and just paired it with a different shirt and a different necklace. The shirt is kind of the spandexy kind of um, snug fits um, top, baby doll top with this necklace and it's got, let me see if I can find a way, here we go. It's got these little hearts and beads and charms on it and yeah, so I've paired this together and I got some just little, little stud heart earrings and this is outfit number three I think so and then I noticed in Y2K we always left our shirts out like we didn't do the whole tucking them in thing then so um pros and cons with that so like it shows your if your jeans are snug you're gonna get a belly roll in these types of shirts so don't like that about it but it is how we wore them um out so it is what it is and this is outfit number three um, which I do think the shirt's kind of cute. I would probably just, if I was actually going to wear it, since these jeans are so tight, I might pair it with a different pair of jeans. But I feel like the black jeans was probably how we wore it in, you know, for Y2K. So anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the little purple necklace I just showed you with the little charms and the little hearts just broke and went all over the floor. So it's down here. So at least I got one good picture out of it, right? So I was going to wear it with this outfit, but that didn't work out. So with this one, um, I have just taken this little see-through bag again, and I kept the little silver uh, beaded bracelets, wire bracelets on, and I just have a stretchy, like spandexy green top, and I have a... Um, butterfly skirt so it's got butterfly butterflies was a print y2k there were butterflies and actually i know because everyone's doing y2k again walmart just put out a little butterfly shirt as well it looks like a little baby tee with butterflies so i was like yes i had that back in the day and uh so with the skirt look at the beautiful little prints on this so there's like flowers and butterflies just everywhere butterfly explosion and it's got a little ruffle on the bottom and i like how there's just like that one little black strip there. <laughs> it's just some detail there. And I also paired it with the little white sneakers because um, that's how I would have worn it. And then I've got my dolphin little necklace that says summer on it. Um, and then I just kept these 
same earrings on. I've done so many videos, my ears are getting sore from taking the earrings out. So I've kept those on. And, um, but yeah, I'm really liking this one and I like the length on it. It's very modest, so I would definitely feel comfortable wearing it. And it does remind me of a lot too. Okay, once again, leaving the shirt out too because we just didn't tuck them in. So yeah, so let's get on to the next outfit. Okay, on this one, I have the little baby tee top and it's just, it's an Arizona brand and from the junior section and it's just got, it's just made like a little baby t-shirt and it's got hearts all over it and I kept the same beaded little necklace that's back in right here and um, yeah and then I paired it with these old faded glory vintage jeans and then let's see if I can show you back here on the pocket there's like a star hanging on a chain and then on the other side the tag is glittery looking over here so definitely y2k there's some zipper here um yeah and then on the leg down here they have a um it's like almost like a seam sewed down the front of them and then i paired them with the little white sneakers again for just kind of a little casual t-shirt look for y2k so yep and then we have one outfit left so let's take a look at that one Hey, this is the last one so seven outfits one for each day of the week y2k and this last one is a little y2k dress and it is once again that little just sheer material over the lining super cute and I've got just a little charm bracelet has my initial on it I have the little beaded necklace and the little earrings little um, look like little diamond flower looking earrings and the little strappy black sandals which once again I would love to have a little pair of like black strapped dress shoes with like the chunky heel on them but maybe one day I will find those and want a black pair and a white pair if I can find them but this will work I guess so anyways yeah this is the last one I really like this dress actually I, this is the first time I've tried it on so I didn't even know if it fit but it does it pretty much fits perfect and it's very comfortable love it so I will definitely be wearing it and yeah so that's it for the Y2K outfits I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next so maybe I'm starting to wind down too so if I sound differently it is midnight or something I have to go to work 9 30 in the morning be at work 9 30 in the morning so I'm starting to get a little tired now and I think it's because I'm thinking about work the next day but um and I've also just did three videos in one day so you know whatever whatever works right but uh so I'm thinking my next one is going to be maybe vest outfits I know vest is kind of like not maybe something that people do but I have like a bunch of vest so that may work or um, I think there were some others I was going to do too like a prairie style so there's quite a few others that I had wrote down that I thought ooh, that might be cool to match up and and do so we will try that um, I don't know it'll be a surprise what will the next one be so anyways if you like the video please hit like and if you're not a subscriber yet hit subscribe so I can grow on YouTube and um, yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you on that next one, whatever it is. It'll be good, whatever it is. I'll see you next time. God bless you.